So here's my 1990 Toyota MR2 SW20 uh, running on a Speedwino uh, ECU. Running fully sequential and speed density for detections. Um, here's a little bit of the setup here. It's got an excess power manifold and downpipe. Upgraded CT26 turbo. It's now 16G with a six blade fan. It's got and fittings for the uh, feed and return lines for the water and oil. Aftermarket intercooler. It's that four inch uh, aluminum. So, done a few things to it. It has a um, TRD coil package with uh, Tokiko adjustable um, shocks on it. So it's got uh, a few positions you can set it on for dampening or whatever. Unopened motor. Um, running at 15 pounds of boost right now. It's got the uh, full exhaust package. So it's fully stainless now right from the uh, block back here. So, um, can't really get underneath the car too well because it sits pretty low, but I think you can see part of the... Um, exhaust here and a wide band sensor right there so a couple things done to the car it's got some Bomex gear on it just like a little wing here and a side scoop it does have the body kit um, just needs attention obviously but these do go up into the uh, engine bay here to feed uh, the intercooler on this side and then the uh, air intake on that side. Actually see right through the car there. Does have a short shift kit in it. I think it's like Majesty or something. It's just an eBay special, but it works really good. It's got a Razo shifter on it and um, seems to shift really well now. Uh, turbo timer, of course. Just JVC deck. AEM gauge. Up the new turbo to the manifold. Uh, came with some new gaskets, so figured I'd use them. They're a little thinner than the ones I had, but they're brand new, so may as well use them up. And uh, let's get this uh, downpipe on. So a little bit of a fast forward, but uh, it's got the Viz Racing carbon fiber hood. And right now I'm just kind of finished battling with uh, an oil issue. We put the new turbo on it. And it was still coming out of the turbine housing right here. Um, and pushing up and through to the intercooler. So... Traced it down to the oil return line. It was just way too small. Put the stock one back on there. Kind of rearranged things a little bit. Um, other than that, um, just getting an oil pressure gauge installed. I actually fired it up and it was getting good pressure and all that. Uh, where are we here? Right here, just a cheapie. I think we're just going to pop that right in here somewhere um, next to the other gauges. I never really did finish talking about the car, but... Um, we have the speakers just hidden back here. I've been doing some work, so everything's kind of like pulled out right now, but... Just some 6 by 9s um, yeah, other than that, if there's anything else I could point towards or give you guys an idea of what you could do, 
Let me know.